Hello guys and welcome to Bush Life. And in today's episode... <laughs> Alright guys, now as I was saying before I got shown by a light, and don't worry I'm not a shadow demon. In today's episode, we're going to be staying till dark, setting up camp at the bush tent, and using that thing we have to try listening on these ghost voices. So we've got torches, uh, we've got we've got people, I've got beautiful partner in King Toast. Uh, we're going to try catch some spooky things and find out more about the Sebastian that we learnt from and who's trying to attack us down here. So stay tuned and we'll see if we can find some paranormal things. Farewell King Toast. Bye. Have a very toasty evening. Alright, so we've got about half hour till night once that pagoda turns on. I think it's a bit different from winter because we're heading into spring, so we do actually get a bit more daytime. But as you can see, there's a lot of clouds. That's what I'm calling all this stuff now. Just around everywhere in the guest room, just around here, the main tent area. Look, look at this pile and just all this junk. So oh, <laughs> it's not a very efficient one. But basically, we have to go clean everything up now, get ready for tonight. And we also need to set up the light system because we don't want any unfortunate cases of Sebastian coming to kill us. Because I don't even know what's going on anymore, but things are creepy and weird. So we've got about half an hour or maybe less once that pagoda lights up. So the race is on to get things set up. Pagoda's on. We've got about under half an hour to go. And something's wrong with the autumn tree. It's dying, and I don't understand why. The stem is fine, unless there's something wrong in the roots. But from my understanding, it should all be fine. It was going great this morning, but... There's nothing wrong with the roots. I don't understand. There's nowhere, anywhere there it's been damaged. I don't understand why it's just dying. It was going so well. I don't understand. And I'm actually genuinely sad because this was going to be such a nice plan. I don't understand. I really don't understand why it's decided to stop. I really don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'll put some more dirt over it, but... Man, I don't understand what went wrong. Right, I'm quite happy with how this garden has turned out. I've got this here, just to show where the two plants are. <coughs> now, King Toast unfortunately had to go. He had other things he had to attend to. But um, that's fine. It's just me and beautiful partner down here now. Uh, things are quite scary because we have actually got evidence of a very potential real threat down here. But it seems as long as we stay in the torchlight, we should be okay. And I'm actually more sad about the autumn tree right now than anything, so... Anyways, I've got to get to lighting things up. We've just been packing up and trying to get everything ready. Alright, night is befalling us. This is where things get serious. Quite dark out here. Got that there. We don't know what's out here. Is there a Sebastian? We don't know. Is my autumn tree looking all sad and droopy? Yes. And I looked it up, and it may be because it was a hot day, although it definitely didn't feel that hot. Maybe I was just focused on garden building because that's what happened in the past day. I've just filmed a few episodes. But yeah, who knows? All right, we've got the ghost thing on, and I'm going to keep it, this section, completely uncut. All right, turn it up. Is there anybody here? There are two. I'm going to take my hat off because you keep bonking it. <laughs> Is 
Is there anybody here? Radio. Radio? Yeah, maybe. Is there anybody here? Is there anybody here? Just said be gone. I'd kill. <laughs> I'm sorry. That every noise every time. time. I'm gonna get the light here just in case. Is there any Is there anybody here? Hello? What was that? Laughing. <laughs> Is there a Sebastian here? Also, don't mind the cut. We got a call. We had to answer. I just heard a bang down there. Is there anybody here? Is there a Sebastian? Fashion. What was that? Two? Yeah. I don't know. Hello? Is there anybody here? Answer. What is that rumbling? Cloud. No, <laughs> oh yeah, the clouds <laughs> are rumbling. Hello? Ah, that sounds radio. Is there anybody here? Oh, hello? Is anybody here? We're getting such good results the other day. Why is there nothing now? We're even down here at night. This text message? This text message? Oh, it's just radio nonsense. We are getting stuff the other night. Why is there now uh, nothing? Anna? Anna? Hold on, that sounded different. It was. Anna? Does it say Anna? Anna? I heard Ela. Think it's just radio. Yeah. Oh. Oh. What? Something just snapped down there. Outside. Something just walked on something. Yeah. Is there anybody there? <laughs> That's the voice. That's the Sebastian voice. That was the Sebastian voice. What did it say? I don't know. That deep voice, that's the Sebastian we were talking about. That's the, that's the voice he had. And that same angle again from that way, like in the other time we did this. Oh. Thanks, radio. We should probably pack up the tripod. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to pack up the tripod. Um, just turn that off. Yeah, hold the stick. Oh yeah, that torch as well needs to go down. Alright, we've gotten a call. We have to go. Uh, like King Toast, urgent matters to attend to, unfortunately. But, yeah, I don't know what was down there, but... Stay in the light. Alright. Hey. That didn't work. Um, we've got lights behind us and in front of us. And to the side of us. And to the side just to be on the safe. And I'm going to leave this part completely uncut just in case because tonight is a darker night than most. It's usually a bit brighter than this, but 
there's must be clouds coming through or something covering the sun and I just heard something down there walking or maybe it was a stick falling I don't know point is we stay in the light slowly just move slowly something's coming behind us yes just okay we'll just go slowly as long as we're in the light just do not panic slowly yes well panicking isn't going to get us anywhere we just have to move slowly and stay in the light as long as the light is behind you we're fine you can like not see in front of me at all just keep it facing come on keep moving corner All right, we're nearly at the creek. Careful. Okay. Careful with this part here. Oh, okay, never mind, I'm the one who fell. Hopefully Sebastian here takes care of the tree. All right, come. Right behind me. Yes, well, we're going. We're in the light. Just stay in it. Careful. No, oh, plants got caught on me. Okay. I see nothing. I don't know if we can actually see it. Well, considering the other night when it attacked us, we saw nothing, but it still ran right at us. Mm. The important part is the light stopped it. So just stay in it. Uh, can you open that? Because I can't. Can you put that behind me? What? Right behind me. Yes. Um, what? No, I'm just waiting for you to open the gate. Oh. Right, go, go. Keep the light on me while I clock it. I had to. I can't lock it otherwise. Oh, where is it? Uh, I see nothing. Yes, just until we get to the gate, leaving the bush, the last gate. Keep it on. Uh, but we seem pretty covered behind and in front of what we've got here, so just keep going. Alright, sorry this episode got cut short, guys, but maybe it was for the best because there was definitely something moving around down there. <coughs> and considering. Okay. Up there? Yes. Just keep the torch on it. Remember the other night, the second we put the light on, it stopped. Whatever it was. Just keep the torch focused on the fire. Alright, the gate's open for us. Alright, we're going to end this episode here, guys. We're basically there now. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing us suffer. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Where's that chain?